Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? An investigation is underway at Hazard High School in Perry County after images taken during a homecoming event were posted online. Now, they include pictures of students in lingerie and bikinis dancing on teachers. Now, we do want to warn you, some of you may find some of these images disturbing. The school is celebrating homecoming week. Yesterday was costume day featuring a man pageant. Multiple pictures were posted and taken down from the school's athletics page. They appear to show students giving lap dances to faculty and staff. Some pictures show female students dressed in Hooters costumes. Other pictures show students and staff paddling each other. One person featured in the pictures is Principal Donald Happy Mobellini, who is also the mayor of Hazard. Some parents say they are outraged. Others say they don't think any lines were crossed. Everybody who has been to Hazard knows, knows all of the teachers and what happens during homecoming week. One of the administrators in the pictures is Hazard High School Principal Donald Happy Mobellini. He's also the mayor of Hazard. He's also the mayor of Hazard. Oh, beloved, be careful. Be careful. The devil doesn't let you get away, is it? He's too great an enemy. He just waits for when you really fall and multitudes stumble after you. If he doesn't give up yet, if he hasn't exposed you yet, In the dark, in the darkness Let me tell you something Shadows, they follow you You like an accomplice. Are still in your sin Lost all of your dreams The night is harder Hereby we do know that we know him Shadows, they follow you If we keep his commandments Shadows, they follow you in the darkness You let them in You let them in For far too long Many have confessed to be followers of Yahshua But when Satan's children And the world dress up like devils and demons to celebrate the cursed enemies of Yahuwah, a multitude of lukewarm Christians join in on the mischief and revelry. Trick or treat! A vaccine by Halloween? Be not deceived. You let them in. A deadly shooting at a Halloween party. A teenager was killed, several others were injured. A Halloween party in Whittier turns violent when someone pulls out a gun and opens fire. Now, three teenagers are hospitalized in critical condition. We felt compelled to give a stern warning out of love for our brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Because we are in the last days, and time is running out. I just Forever. Believe. The Austin Police Department is mourning the loss of another officer. Senior Police Officer John Oldham died unexpectedly last Thursday. Tragic news from Duval County tonight, where we're learning about the death of County Judge Gilbert Sines. The sudden passing has sent shockwaves through the community. Duval County Judge Gilbert Sines passed away unexpectedly over the weekend. New at six tonight, he was a star athlete and a loving son and a brother. And tonight, the Citrus High School community is grieving the sudden loss of Antonio Hicks. Fox 10 News Alert now. We are getting word that former Attorney General in Arizona Grant Woods has died at the age of 67. A spokesperson for the family says his death was unexpected.
Pittsburgh police say 47-year-old officer Brian Rowland died at St. Clair Hospital Sunday evening following what they call a brief illness. We are learning now that Judge Larry Jones has died this morning. He served the Cleveland Municipal Court for 21 years before joining the 8th District Court of Appeals in 2009. Jones is the third judge to pass away within the last two weeks. Well, here's a kind of shocking story that's received almost no attention and is pretty ominous. Government data from around the world show that so-called all-cause deaths are running well above normal. This is happening in Western Europe, for example. What explains this? What could explain it? These are not deaths from COVID. These are deaths directly. These are deaths from some other things. What are they? Well, Alex Berenson has looked deeply into this. He's an author and a journalist. Can you just describe the outline of this? Because it's a pretty amazing story. Let me quickly tell you what we know, which is in the big countries in Western Europe, in several of the big countries in Western Europe, notably the UK and Germany, which are the two, uh, you know, two of the two of the largest by population, deaths are suddenly running higher than normal. And that's been true in the UK for several months. Remember, the UK vaccinated a lot of people early this year. They've had deaths running higher than normal for a couple of months. Germany's vaccinations happened closer to uh, the spring, and they've had deaths higher than normal in September. We don't know why. In the UK, where there's more data, it looks like there's a lot of cardiovascular deaths that are driving this. We don't know what that means. In the US, there, are, there has been an excess in mortality in people under 50 that has gone on for two years now, and we have a terrible number of deaths happening in people that age. Some of those deaths are COVID. Some of those deaths appear to be lockdown related or i.e. Um, drug overdoses, which we know are running really high. But in the yes. last few months, even as COVID deaths fell in the spring, deaths in that age group remained very high in the U.S. This is, uh, uh, and, and again, there's a couple possibilities. One possibility is that some COVID deaths are being miscounted, although we count COVID deaths very aggressively. Another possibility is that, this, is that it's these lockdown slash drug overdose deaths, although Europe doesn't have nearly the problem that we do with that. Another, pro another possibility, and I hesitate even to say this out loud, Tucker, because I know what the response will be, is that this is cardiac related and it is something to do with the mass vaccination campaigns. But, uh, but you know, we don't have evidence, we don't have enough evidence to separate what the possibilities are. All we know is that people are dying at unprecedented rates in the U.S. In, in the 30 to 50 age group, the 20 to 50 age group, and now we're seeing excess mortality in some European countries, and we really should find out why. Well, that, that's kind of the point right there. We don't know. You said it five times. You're a responsible person. Really, in, t in 20 seconds, is there a highly aggressive, organized effort to figure out why these people are dying? I would say there's a highly aggressive organized effort to to prevent anybody from talking about this data. You know, I was kicked off Twitter. I was forced onto Substack. Um, nobody talks about it except you. And I, and I don't know why that is either. Well, I think it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I mean, we, I don't know what's causing it, but if people are dying, we should know why. And I think that's your premise as well. It's, and I'm grateful. You it's keep, pretty important. Keep the pharmaceutical industry is working in concert with shadow governments worldwide who are guided by the most secretive fraternal orders and occult brotherhoods who conspire against mankind and his creator. Brought to you by Pfizer. CBS Health Watch, sponsored by Pfizer. Anderson Cooper 360. Brought to you by Pfizer. ABC News Nightline. Brought to you by Pfizer. Making a difference. Brought to you by Pfizer. CNN Tonight. Brought to you by Pfizer. Early start. Brought to you by Pfizer. Friday night on Aaron Burnett out front. Brought to you by Pfizer. This week with George Stephanopoulos is brought to you by Pfizer. This weather report brought to you by Pfizer. Today's countdown to the royal wedding is brought to you by Pfizer. And now a CBS Sports update brought to you by Pfizer. Meet the press. Data download. Brought to you by Pfizer. This portion of CBS This Morning sponsored by Pfizer. On how to find the hidden sugars in the American family diet. Sponsored by Pfizer. In the coming year, many will be overtaken by disease, accidents, tragedy, death, depression, and suicide. All curses brought upon themselves because they wanted to have a night of fun and join the crowd. Under the light of this moon, there are rituals and sacrifices taking place worldwide. Those who participate are giving jurisdiction over themselves, their children, and their homes 
to unclean spirits, demons, the tormentors of humanity. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. So, should kids go trick-or-treating this year? The director of the CDC says absolutely. Trick-or-treating! In the dark. In the darkness. This is a time that children love. It's it's a very important part of the year for children. Shadows they follow you like Go out there and enjoy Halloween. You hear that? Mr. Gain of Function himself wants you to go trick-or-treating. Of course. Dr. Fauci Stein, Dr. Death, endorses All Hallows' Eve, and for him, the Unholy Day's festivities last all year round with ghoulish experiments in inhumane laboratory testing. The U.S. military actually has a plan for a zombie apocalypse, and this is it. As part of the military's role to plan for every possible contingency, including the undead rising from their graves, this is Contingency Plan 8888. It was devised as a way to help new war planners hone their skills, using the ludicrous example of zombies as a template. But the plan is both credible and fully functional. The plan accounts for everything from pathogenic viral zombies to evil magic zombies and has a six-stage response. This includes a planning stage, a deterrent stage, a seize the initiative stage, a dominant stage, a stabilization stage, and finally, a normalization stage. The plan is hefty and comprehensive considering everything from vectors of infection to a return to normal life afterwards, so it's ready to use at a moment's notice. Believe it or not, zombies are real, and they will play a pivotal role in the prophetic events of these last days. We cover this information extensively in our series, They Walk, which exposes too much of the New World Order's agenda to post on this platform. And They Walk too, the mystery schools and their fruitless deeds of darkness are exposed. Join us as we continue to crack the code and uncover the Illuminati's playbook, an ancient prophecy that is said to have been written by Nephilim, which parallels a biblical prophecy that we now see coming to pass right before our eyes. Predictive Programming The latest release in the Call of Duty video game series depicts an ancient demon god who resurrects an army of the undead. Keep this in mind as we move forward in this video. Forty-two. 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 The CDC allows for some wiggle room in the time frame between the two doses, and that it's okay for the second dose to be given 42 days after the first dose. The esoteric meaning of 42, the tesseract, the magic cube. In many hidden ancient traditions, 42 symbolizes a gateway, a portal, or a door that leads to profound transformation and change. In the ancient Egyptian Book of the Dead, souls trapped in the underworld would have to recite 42 negative confessions to Osiris in order to cross the boundary from the underworld into paradise. So in this case, 42 represents the doorway from death to life. In binary code, the sum of 42 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, positive and negative, black and white, duality. So because the value of the number 
is one and zero, positive and negative, just as much as the number can be used to represent life, it can also be used to represent death. Breaking news right now, we're learning more about a deadly accident on a movie set in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Moments ago, we learned actor Alec Baldwin fired the prop gun that killed one person and injured another. The victims, crew members, are on the Netflix Western film Rust. 42-year-old director of photography, Helena Hutchins, was rushed to the helicopter and then taken to a local trauma center where she died from her injuries. In Hollywood, the spellcasters have been subliminally preconditioning the collection of subconscious of the masses to associate 42 with transhumanism, the magic cube, the augmentation of mankind and necromancy as a pathway or a door to human evolution and immortality. For the Illuminus, 42 is a symbol of rebellion and as we know, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. The game does have many inferences that can be drawn to masonry. Are players standing on geometric shapes? Occult Kabbalistic rituals showing Freemasonic symbolism concerning both geometry and numerology, sacred numbers. The field, from home plate to the left and right walls, form a compass. The entire outfield wall is the semicircle which this compass draws. Upside down, overlapping the compass, the three bases form the square. Three strikes and three outs were assigned because three is a sacred number throughout history as well as in Freemasonry. Four recalls the four directions common to so many sacred traditions as the, squ as the square formed by the four bases as well as four balls for a war. In 1936, the first inductions were held. Of the first five men, inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, three of them were Masons. They are known as the Immortals. At the Hall of Fame, they have their own special room. Before you get into the room that has everybody's plaque in it, it has an ante room. In that ante room are the five first inductees. The five inductees, as I say, were Ty Cobb, Honus Wagner, and Christy Matheson. The two men who joined them are Babe Ruth and a pitcher named Walter Johnson. Okay. Brother Tyrus Ty Raymond Cobb, the Georgia Peach, Peach, Royston Lodge 52, Detroit, Michigan. His fez, by the way, is on display at the hall, at the, at the museum hall. He played 3,033 games. He retired with 4,101 hits. He came from a lodge known as Royston Lodge 52, Detroit, Michigan, and the lodge still exists today. The following are some brothers in the Hall of Fame who hate, helped to shape the game to what it is today. Brother Branch Rickey, from 1913 to 1955, 42 years in the game. He was the founder of the modern day farm system. He started it with the St. Louis Cardinals, where he was the manager for 17 years. That farm system is now copied by all teams. He was an advocate for expansion into new markets, and most notably, he brought Jackie Robinson to the Brooklyn Dodgers on April 15, 1947. He held from Lucasville 46, which became Belfield 688, which is Mount Vernon 688 now, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That lodge is still in existence. Though many feel America's national pastime, baseball, is as wholesome as apple pie, they are unaware of its Masonic origins and its ties to witchcraft and the occult.
Remember, 42 represents duality. Black and white, breaking through barriers or boundaries. And who broke more barriers than Jackie Robinson? Number 42, a symbol of integrating Israelites into the Masonic architecture of a burning house of pagan customs and occult magic. Though many engage in these customs with what seems to be little or no consequence, certain bloodlines are contractually bound by generational covenants and the spiritual commitments of their forefathers. All forms of witchcraft are kryptonite to Israelites. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The night is indeed very, very heartless. Miles Morales. Miles Morales is different than Peter Parker. He was bitten by a multi dimensional genetically modified spider. 42. 42. And from this poisonous, venomous bite, Miles Morales undergoes a genetic transformation and becomes a chimera. Miles Morales, who in the comic book series eventually joins the Avengers, led by Captain America, becoming an agent of the state. Zombies first appeared in one of the earliest works of literature, the Epic of Gilgamesh. In one of our oldest known works, the Epic of Gilgamesh, Ishtar says, I will raise up the dead and they will eat the living. The dead will outnumber the living. This sounds a lot like a zombie apocalypse. This text is considered by many to be the first recorded reference to zombies. It comes from the descent of Ishtar, an ancient Sumerian myth dating to around 2000 BC. Two copies still survive, including this stone tablet from the British Museum of London. Ishtar, the patron goddess of America, prophesied that she would cause a zombie apocalypse and the Bible also prophesies of this event. But it says it will ultimately be the work of the Most High Yahuwah. This is the plague with which the Lord will strike all the nations that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh will rot while they are standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their sockets and their tongues will rot in their mouths. On that day, people will be stricken by the Lord with great panic. They will seize each other by the hand and attack one another. By the hand and attack one another. Attack one the another. great whore will burn. I will burn. Section 42.
If you so happen to be looking for Amazon terms, conditions, and policies, there's a good chance you could stumble upon AWS Service Terms, which stands for Amazon Web Service, which is an official Amazon website. Very few of us read all of the terms and conditions when making a purchase or using a service, but in this case, we would like for you to take a look at some of the terms in this otherwise dry and mundane legal document. As you read through it, everything seems standard and normal, but when you reach Section 42, Amazon Lumberyard Engine, and make your way down to Clause 42.10, it reads, quote, Acceptable Use, Safety Critical Systems. Your use of the lumberyard materials must comply with the AWS Acceptable Use Policy. The lumberyard materials are not intended for use with life critical or safety critical systems, such as use and operation of medical equipment, automated transportation systems, autonomous vehicles, aircraft or air traffic control, nuclear facilities, manned spacecraft, or military use in connection with live combat. However, this restriction will not apply in the event of the occurrence certified by the United States Center for Disease Control or successor body of a widespread viral infection transmitted via bites or contact with bodily fluids that causes human corpses to reanimate and seek to consume living human flesh, blood, brain, or nerve tissue and is likely to result in the fall of organized civilization. Section 42. The word zombie means animated corpse and comes from the Haitian voodoo religion, which has its roots in Western Africa. Historically, a zombie is rooted in the voodoo religion, and it's a person who has had their mind controlled by somebody else and is working as a slave. The voodoo zombie that originated in Africa and ended up in Haiti is very different from Romero's zombie. The word zombie technically refers to the traditional Haitian voodoo zombie. Though mainstream sources state that the word zombie originates from the Caribbean island of Haiti, the truth is much deeper. After the fall of Jerusalem in 70 AD, millions of Israelite refugees fled south into Africa. Many settled in regions of northern Africa that were not under Roman occupation. Centuries later, after the rise of Islam, the Ottoman Empire and the sub-Saharan slave trade which further scattered the tribe of Judah many Israelites retreated deeper into Central Africa. All of this is Bible prophecy spoken of by the prophets and Yeshua HaMashiach himself. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So no matter how far or how fast the Israelites would run, they could not escape the curses of Deuteronomy. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenedst not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. The major curses of Deuteronomy are slavery, genocide, being scattered, and the loss of the nation's heritage. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. One of the gods that the Israelites' fathers never knew, they encountered. When the exiles of Jerusalem fled into the Congo, the indigenous Hamitic tribes there introduced them to their god. His name was Uzambi. As prophesied, the Israelites did not turn back to the God of their fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but fell even further into idolatry and witchcraft. The Levite priests corrupted their Levitical sacrificial customs 
by making offerings to Unzambi and a host of other demons and familiar spirits. After centuries of this, the once great culture and heritage of the Israelite was slowly forgotten, becoming low and base, just as the prophet Jeremiah foretold. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. And just like that, the transatlantic slave trade began. The indigenous Hamitic kings and chiefs bartered deals with European slavers to capture and sell the lost wandering tribes of Israel in exchange for weapons and resources. The French established the colony of Saint-Domé in 1697, which later became Haiti. saint Dumas, 1791. Only a year before, the man had been a warrior in the Congo. Captured by his enemies, he was sold into slavery, crammed into a festering ship's hold. More than one out of every seven captives taken died before they ever saw western shores. But he's one of the lucky ones. He at last makes it to the plantation where he will likely die. He learns this from one of the few enslaved men who speaks his language. They will be raising sugarcane, a dangerous and exhausting task with a harvest season lasting from December to July. Half the new arrivals will die of disease before the year is out. And if they try to escape, they face punishments ranging from whipping to amputation. The men who harvest the cane have cuts all over their bodies. The women who process it are missing arms from the crushing machines or have massive burns from the boiling vats of sugar. The death rates are so high, his guide says. Plantation owners don't bother providing food or clothing. They just buy more enslaved people when the current group is worked to death. But not for much longer, he says. It is good this new arrival is a warrior because they have use for warriors. There's going to be a revolution. In August 1791, as saint white and mixed-race population squared off for a showdown, Bookman called together slaves from neighboring plantations. Bookman had called them to an area called Wakaima. First on the agenda was strategy. That ceremony of Wakaima is the first Haitian Congress, the beginning of the revolution. Haitian tradition says the slaves of Saint-Domingue planned that night to revolt. They timed their uprising to start on multiple plantations in two weeks' time. And they swore each other to secrecy. They even said that they killed a pig and they drank the blood. This is what we call a communion. Communion that to keep what you have heard, what you have said to themselves. Our God orders revenge. He will direct our hands. He will aid us. It is during this ceremony when the so-called Haitians entered into a covenant with a host of fallen entities. One of the gods they called on was Nzambi. Though these entities agreed to assist with the slave rebellion, these demons are actually the patron gods of other nations and are enemies to the Israelites. So as you can imagine, any help they appear to give to the Israelites will come at a very high price. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. After those dramatic scenes at that crowded migrant camp under a border bridge in Del Rio, tonight, U.S. officials telling NBC News the Biden administration is preparing for an even more massive surge in October. Up to 400,000 migrants crossing the border, which would be a record, nearly doubling the stunning numbers we've seen the last two months, which were a 21-year high. 
The new surge likely, officials say, because of a court order due to start tomorrow, lifting a COVID restriction known as Title 42. Lifting a COVID restriction known as Title 42. Lifting a COVID restriction known as Title 42. Section 42. Section 42. Lifting a COVID restriction known as Title 42, which had allowed officials to quickly deport most asylum seekers during the pandemic. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas saying keeping Title 42 is critical. That is an authority that the Centers for Disease Control has determined to still be necessary given where we are in the arc of the pandemic. In Del Rio, border authorities were taken by surprise by a surge of mostly Haitian migrants who came from South America. 5,000 were deported back to Haiti, but the administration released most into the U.S., around 13,000, asking them to report to an immigration center to start asylum hearings. Tonight, immigration advocates say it's time to end Title 42. It's blatantly illegal under both U.S. and international law and has caused enormous harm to hundreds of thousands of asylum seekers. Based on our spiritual discernment and research, we believe that the zombie spirit is assisting the scientists who work in secret military labs on biological weapons under the dominion and watchful eye of the goddess Ishtar or Lady Liberty. These physical and spiritual principalities are now beckoning the so-called Haitians to break through Title 42, 42 and overrun the border. Through their predictive programming, we know that they plan to stop the Great Awakening and destroy the children of Israel with a zombie plague. Oh God. Was I too late? Oh, jeez. Come on, big guy. Time to go green. Oh, no. Hear me and rejoice. Come out. Come out. Come out. What do you mean, no? You are about to die at the hands of the children of... Tony? Oh boy, are you guys screwed. Huh? Yeah, Iron Man. Wait, what are you guys? That's... Uh, that sort of seems like overkill. Remember, the Hollywood spellcasters always invert reality to cast their spell. So Yeshua Hamashiach and the children of Israel are always the villains. Ultimately, we know that all these satanic conspiracies will backfire, and the Most High Yahuwah will use them to punish all the nations that fight against Jerusalem. Yet will I leave a remnant, that ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations, when ye shall be scattered through the countries. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whither they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart, which hath departed from me, and with their eyes which go a-whoring after their idols. And they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations." And they shall know that I am the Lord, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart and with all thy soul. 
that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good, and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart, and the heart of thy seed, to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. In addition to cases, hospitalizations, deaths, and patient status, we also continue to collect, analyze, and report data on genomic surveillance of COVID-19 variants on COVID data tracker. In the United States, Delta remains the dominant variant with more than 99.7% of sequence cases in the country being caused by Delta. There are new variants that continue to emerge as cases continue to spread. And in particular, the AY4.2 variant has drawn some attention in recent days. AY4.2 is a sublineage of the Delta variant that has been recently identified in the UK. And we have, on occasion, identified the sublineage here in the United States. In other news, Israel has reported its first case of a subtype of the Delta variant known as AY4.2. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett met with top health officials to discuss whether AY4.2 is more virulent than the Delta variant. AY4.2 has been spreading. A man from Las Vegas was arrested in Salt Lake City. He was caught on camera being unruly during an American Airlines flight, at times growling at those around him. His devices. Who knows what kind of disease those things carry? Zombie. Who knows what kind of disease those things carry? Who knows what kind of disease those things carry? Where is everybody? They're not here. They've all gone. Oh, please tell me where they've gone. Please tell me. Molly, I don't know. But when I open my eyes, you weren't the same. Zombie. We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. But something has changed you. Nicki Minaj is sparking a firestorm. I do. The rapper skipped the Met Gala last night because they required everyone to be vaccinated. Iron and clay. Violent crime is way up. But you're not the same. This is when people see or hear things that are not there. You weren't there. Where you hide. Hide and go seek. I can't follow. Tell me you can watch it.
So it is our responsibility always to be the ones to teach our children concerning their relationship with God from the time they are born as a baby. So we all have that responsibility and we should all take it very, very seriously and be very proudful as well as constantly committing it to the Lord. Deuteronomy 30 tells us how to reverse the curse by returning to the covenant. And it shall come to pass when all these things have come upon thee, the blessings and the curse. The power of Christ. The Most High Yah has given us family, tribe, and nation. Alone we are weak, but together with Him. God is my strength and power, and He maketh my way perfect. The power of Christ. We have power. Who defeated Pharaoh? Who parted the Red Sea? Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Who shows mercy to the righteous? That the power of Christ may rest upon And rains fire on the wicked. Yahuwah Zabaoh commanded the host of the Shamaim. Hallelujah. We give all glory to the Most High Yahuwah. Recently, I have been trying to brainstorm and come up with ideas for a clothing line to try and help raise resources to build sanctuaries for righteous families who've lost their income and been displaced because they refuse to bend the knee to all this tyranny that's been going around. This is a big and overwhelming task and I remember spiritual warfare starting to creep in in the form of self-doubt and uncertainty. After all, I lack so many strengths and attributes that a job like this will require. But then it hit me that it is through Him that I am strong, and it is through His might that we gain the victory. And He said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. Power. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. You work miracles. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Power. Power. Realize your power. Finding out myself. Finding out myself. Power. Realize your power. Finding out myself. Finding out myself. So it is with great determination and resolve God is our refuge and strength that I introduce to you a very present help in trouble the power collection God is my strength and power Yah's power God is my strength and power gaining ground kingdom work God is my strength and power. Lion of Judah, in the midst of the seven candlesticks. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Join us as we go on the offensive in the spiritual war. After all, we weren't just given a shield. What do you think the sword is for? Power. Realize your power. Finding out myself. Finding out myself. God is my strength and power. power. power.